All right, hi guys. A little bit late on the dinner today, but I have taken the time to <sighs> bother before it got too late because I was stuck in with the football prior to the Sunday um, church service online. And while I was doing the putting around my house, um, so I might as well grab out the thing as I'm doing it. Um, so I'm doing my Sunday roast and it's with one chicken, chicken roast, sweet potato, mash and some greens with these spinach greens, okay? Right, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, it's pretty much like he one I prepared earlier because the, the my paprika chicken is in the oven. Ain't gonna lie. All right, let me just show you it. Otherwise, I ain't gonna get. I ain't gonna be eating this side of the century or this side of today. So there's the chicken. Um, preheat the oven to six. Washed inside lemon. A little bit of salt. Um, no, if you never did bother, ain't gonna lie. Then it's just paprika, so stuffed a few cut onions inside the birds. This one came with gillets, cut up those gillets, ooh, but I succeeded, they're gone. A um, little bit of towel in the middle. And then all I did was rub the chicken with some salt, rubbed it with a little bit of pepper, and rubbed it with a bit, what, a tablespoon, a tablespoon of paprika, and maybe a bit more went on the bird. So it seems crisping up, place it on the bottom, set my um, cooker down to four and a half. What I noticed with this cooker that bought in the cell, 600 pound cooker, my mum once said, oh, we used these new world cookers back in the day, get yourself one of these. So me listening, I did. And it ain't all that. <laughs> what maybe back then, but it's the slowest cooker and I've been told, from others is cooked it, it is quite a slow cooking oven. So instead of putting this to four, it's about four and a half minutes five. So it's not cooking everlasting. It goes into about two hours. This is what? A medium, nothing small chicken, small chicken. So I'll put it in still to about two hours, like one minute from eight to two hours because I get quiz cooked thoroughly. In, in, it, in it back, it's going to go. And we'll see that later. Right, so sweet potatoes. Boom. These are mega. I bought three of I bought three of them from um, Lidl. Got my brother's chains. I dashed in one. Yeah, because without so you've got one big potato. Um, and these are my two. All right. Here's one I shaved earlier. Yeah. So that got um. Yeah. And we're gonna peel this one now together. Yeah. Okay. Fill the kettle. I'm just switching the kettle. Pre-boil the water so we're not here all day. I put about a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, to put my water to, to get to be able to taste the mashed potato squash. All right, so let's get peeling. This is a good thing to because This skin is thick and it hasn't mashed up nothing yet. Um, four pound, four pound peeler from Sainsbury's. Oh, Sainsbury's. I don't mind looking at the football. Who was it I played yesterday? Ah, oh, two crucial teams. See, my brain's gone, so I worry about it. But uh, the best West Ham and someone else, who caught that? I know someone won. <laughs> but me now, I'm the type that my brother's in the middle of football, but. I don't mind, I can't sit and actually watch and watch it. I'm just keeping up just to take it in just to keep up to date. But really, I'm the type, get me a ball, get me a floor, I'll have to be out there. 
and you're not going to two people for it. And no, I don't have a team that I support. But, um, two first supports, I'm an arsenal. I'm not going to be honest. But you like basketball and all that, you know. Oh, I see him out playing it. So these are hefties, so they can um, cook quickly, chop them up some more. Okay, two potatoes into bowl. Meanwhile, it's fried on spinach. Okay, so I put a little bit of butter and oil into the pot to set off the seasonings for the sauteed spinach. Okay, so what we have here, we have some oh, garlic, excuse my breath, garlic, yellow pepper, bread and green, a little bit of ginger, some white onion, a little bit of um, spring onion. Get that all in. I've allowed the pepper, the green peppers and the onions, the white onions go in first here. And the ginger and the garlic just in about a couple of minutes. Yeah. Put these to burn. What I think I will do is actually add like half a tomato to the pan. And what I have is near to about what, two big bunches of spinach here. These are homegrown, uh, kind of roast meat. I, I don't know. And um, I'll just put it beautiful. Yeah. Her fingers throw anything but those sort of hands. And um, we're going to get this type of stuff in the shop. Yeah, that actually holds the options and minerals. So, yeah, let's go, you know. Thanks, dog. Right. 
Not being anti-social, I do this video, but I won't bother asking so I can actually see the TV when I try and catch a little set off. Here's a little Okay. Oh, on? Is it in? I'm going to burn my ear because it's hair burns. Because my ears are not. Oh, my ears. Oh, my ears. So what I'm going to do, I'll get these into the pan, just break up just a little bit, not too small. And really what happens, what I've done, these hold a lot of water, they hold a lot of water, so they pretty much cook themselves. So once you get them in the pan, take it low, just a bit lower than medium heat, wipe on the lid, and just let it, the water will do the work. That come out of the spinach. I've had to put a dot or something just to fry off um, the added bit. Okay. So, we'll be cooking. <laughs> it seems like it's wet up high, but I don't know why it comes up wet yet. And I've got the water. Yeah. While that's doing this thing, we'll just look for a. Uh, I know it was really not getting just got a big old plate. Provided with a certain nutrient, and I can't get this off my head. It's late. I'll write it down for you. Right? Uh, um, this is why different foods, you get a little bit of everything, gives you the right bit of minerals, minerals, etc. Mm -hmm. Hello, Eves. Hello, Eves. <laughs> Onion. 
this thing. I'm just going to drain them off. Into the calendar. Put back in the pot, add a bit of salt and pepper. Smash it up. It's the mushroom. Father San Jim's open 25th of July. Who's excited? Me, so I need some hefty, hefty weight. But although the time I've been working out during this whole um, um, charade, the word, oh, I miss the steam room. The steam room, at least one size will come in the steam room, stretching 20 25 minutes. I'm in there, do my after stretches in there, ease up. What's up with all the joint pains just build up. Like, though we stretch afterwards, steam room's the one. Steam room's the one. Do whatever, but it's a nice therapeutic big session to be sat in the wet heat, the hot wet heat, and just, you know what I mean? Relaxing, wind down. Yeah, let the heat work through those muscles. Just ease them out and piece of flexibility. Soon coming in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the most I've been able to go up to is like three to on the legs because my um, has got like gym, gym stuff. 
Okay. Okay. Just to bring you here, and you've got the rest of it. But the bar itself is 20 anyway. So I've got a 60. Well, anyway, can be maximum 60. Um, I don't think I've even put on 60 yet. You know? But I mean, going in the shower, but fast. Once I get in the bath, I'm in it for like 10 minutes. I get bored too hard and I come out. If I'm in steaming for something, I can sit there for a while, but in the bath, but even sometimes that steam is good for the, the joints and the bones, yeah, and the muscle. Okay, look at what's happening here with the... Alright, it's sitting down nicely. We'll need to just finish there. Let's see. Yeah. Alright, so I've wet the whole thing to the extent, but now I switch it off back into the cup. Smashing it down. It's a bit simple, sir. Yes! Put the seats right by the oven. Open. Ow. Gin. <laughs> Open. The gin. Come Lovely, lovely, lovely. See? He did all of it. I've got some more shit, just dashed in the lovely, it's got the 
The next time you'll see it is on a plate with the greens and the sweet potato. Alright, so guys, if you're not already following me, please do on my Insta account on the IG um, at SLS Fitness for you. Alright, and then there's more info up there, and then any nutritional advices and help and goals you're looking to aspire to, I would like that um, advice, one to one training, mentorship to help achieve those goals. Please don't hesitate to DM me, DM me over there. Leave a comment here on the YouTube where I'm going to upload today's quick video at. Alright? So again, take care, stay blessed, stay paid up. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye.